welcome back to the Lexi Hair Channel. Today's video, we're gonna be tackling summer's biggest hair enemy, and that is humidity and frizzy hair, which is something that I suffer from majorly when it comes to hot summer days, and I know that it's a big problem and challenge that many of you face, so I'm gonna be sharing some of our best tips and tricks for tackling this problem head on, and just making your life way easier when it comes to styling your hair on hot summer days and dealing with all of that frizzy mess. So, let's just get into the video. So raise your hand in the comments below if you have naturally curly hair or naturally wavy hair. I have naturally wavy hair, and that means these types of hairstyles tend to be more on the drier side, and drier hairstyles, drier hair textures, love to absorb moisture. So when you go outside on a super humid day, your hair just like attracts like a magnet, all of the moisture in the air absorbs it like bing, and suddenly you're left with like this poofy mess of hair. So if dry hair equals frizzy hair, then the key to tackling this problem is to hydrate your locks majorly. Tip number one is to wash your hair less. So instead of washing your hair every day or even every other day, if you can go you know, two to even three days between washes, use dry shampoo in between and let it soak up that extra oil, but shampooing less will keep your hair healthier in the long run. Another tip when it comes to showering is to stop showering with hot, scalding water. Start using more lukewarm water or cold water even, and this seals your hair cuticles, making your hair look more shiny. Next, when selecting a shampoo for washing your hair, you wanna make sure you choose a shampoo that has no sulfates in it. Reason why is because sulfates is really good at removing dirt from and like cleaning your hair, but along with it, it takes away your natural oil, and that tends to make your hair much more brittle and dry. When you step out of the shower and you need to dry your hair, next tip is to stop using friction on your hair to dry your hair. Wow, I said hair so many times. Don't put your hair up in a towel turban. Stop doing that. Don't rub, scrub, dry your hair with your towel. That's really harsh and damaging and causes lots of breakage. You wanna keep everything smooth and healthy. So instead, opt for just gently squeezing out your hair. And if you can, if you've got a microfiber towel, that's even better. Just gently squeezing out the water and then letting your hair air dry. One of the major common mistakes that causes a lot of frizziness is right away just blow drying your hair when it's still really wet and damp. What you want to do is make sure your shower schedule allows you to have enough time to air dry your hair because you want your hair to be air dried about 90% before you even touch that blow dryer. I also don't suggest brushing your hair right away when it's still really wet and really damp. Let your hair air dry again 90% of the way and then when it's time I like to use a leave-in conditioner spray, just spritz it all over, and then I use a wide tooth comb to brush upwards starting from the bottom, and then I will just lightly, gently brush out the tangles upwards. This is the best way to avoid breakage and damaging your hair. And now it's time to blow dry. A tip when using your hair dryer to prevent frizz is to blast it all with cold air. Blast it with cold air all over and that just seals in your cuticles and makes it shiny, locks in the moisture and helps prevent frizz when you go outside. One of dry hair's best friend is actually the sun. UV rays tend to be very harsh and drying on your strands, so if I know that I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in the sun, like I'm going on vacation or something, then I love using a very hydrating hair mask before. I'll just apply a hair mask when I'm showering and I you know, leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll spend the rest of the time doing you know, shaving or whatever. Or you can apply it when your hair is damp and then just take 15 minutes, do some other things, and then go back and then just rinse it out. Really easy and something that is great to do at least once a week, especially if you have very dry or frizzy hair. Again, the whole point and the whole key to this is making your hair as moisturized and hydrated as possible to prevent that frizz from happening. Let's move on to styling. So we all know that hot tools tend to be very damaging to our hair and we try not to straighten and curl our hair so often. So one of my favorite methods for curling my hair and creating heatless waves is actually when my hair is damp. I'll spritz my hair with a little bit of product and then I'll create these twists on both sides of my head and then I'll just pin them up. I'll cover the twists with a silk scarf. If you've ever heard the tip to sleep with a pillowcase made of silk because it's really good for your hair, that is true. And also you can do this when you're you know, regularly styling. So taking a headscarf that is made of silk and letting your hair air dry protected in it for about an hour or so, then you can let down the twists and you've got these really beautiful natural heatless waves. 
One thing that I absolutely despise is when I've styled my hair and it looks great, I'm inside, I've just curled my hair, I've just straightened my hair, it looks awesome, and then the second you step outside, it's just absolutely ruined. It just turns into a poofy mess, everything falls out of place, it's just terrible. So, one thing that I like to do to prevent this, if, especially if you're going to an event and you need to get from place to place and you want to preserve that awesome hairstyle, what you do is as soon as you step outside, wrap it up into like a low bun, a chignon, a cute little, you know, updo, something to protect most of your hair from the elements and from exposing all your hair instead of just leaving it like long and down. And then when you go back inside, you can let it go. If you're on the go and you already feel your hair starting to frizz up or you've got some unruly flyaways, a great tip is just to put some hair oil on a mascara brush or a toothbrush or a little comb or a humidity defying hairspray. Both hair oil and humidity defying hairspray would work really well and you just spritz it on your little brush and then just smooth it down and then you're good to go for a little bit of time. So we've talked about heat styling using hot tools and also showering with hot scalding water as both being very drying and damaging to your hair. Another thing that is very drying and damaging is dyeing your hair. And I'm a little bit biased. I've never dyed my hair. Honestly, it's because I, I'm way too scared to commit to a color. But if you love to play up with your hair and change the color, you know, you, maybe you want to add highlights or lighten it and, you know, have a little bit more fun, a great alternative that is not damaging is using the Luxie Hair Extensions in the Balayage Collection. They just add amazing, beautiful highlights to your hair. So I have the Chocolate Brown Balayage Set and it just adds these amazing, like, sun-kissed chestnut brown highlights to my hair and I can just add color instantly into my hair without actually going to the salon and dyeing it and doing the whole ordeal and making my hair more damaged. This is a great solution and alternative to doing that. One key lesson I've learned over the years is to work with the natural hair texture that you have and the natural hairstyle that you have. So if you have naturally like pin straight hair, I wouldn't go on a humid day and curl it and try to make it all wavy and curly. And same thing if you've got really curly hair and suddenly it's a humid day um, and go straighten it, like you're just going to end up with a big poofy mess. So basically what you want to do is just take your natural hair texture and just style your hair in an amped up version of that hairstyle. Styling your hair in an opposite direction of your own is just an upward battle when it comes to humid days and humidity. It's just a big no. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you learned a few new tips when it comes to preventing frizziness and tackling humidity on hot summer days. Do you suffer from really frizzy hair? Would love to know. Leave a comment below. And also, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed because there's always more hair content coming your way from the Lexia Hair Channel. And we'll see you next time.